Today, we're diving into a sweet topic with a bitter twist sugar and its connection to cancer. I'm sure you've heard that too much sugar isn't good for you, but do you know why, especially when it comes to cancer? Studies have shown that high sugar intake can lead to obesity, which is a major risk factor for cancer. Research indicates that sugar can fuel the growth of cancer cells by providing them with energy. In fact, a study published in the journal Nature Communications found that high sugar diets can increase the risk of breast cancer and metastasis. So, understanding the science behind sugar and its health risks is crucial. Let's break it down. First, there's obesity. Consuming high amounts of sugar often leads to excess body weight. Now, here's the catch. Obesity is linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including breast, colon and pancreatic cancers. This happens because fat cells, especially those around your abdomen, produce hormones and growth factors that can promote tumour growth. Take, for example, Jane, who struggled with obesity for years. Her excess weight led to the development of type 2 diabetes, and eventually she was diagnosed with breast cancer. The fat cells in her body produced estrogen, a hormone that can fuel the growth of certain types of breast cancer. Similarly, John, who had a high sugar diet, developed obesity and later colon cancer. The inflammation caused by his excess fat cells created an environment where cancer cells could thrive. Medical professionals emphasize that reducing sugar intake and maintaining a healthy weight can significantly lower the risk of these cancers. Next up, insulin resistance and elevated blood sugar. When you eat sugar, your body releases insulin to help absorb it. Too much sugar means too much insulin. Over time, your body might stop responding to insulin, a condition known as insulin resistance. This can lead to higher insulin and sugar levels in your blood, fostering an environment that can promote cancer growth. Insulin resistance develops gradually. Initially, your cells become less responsive to insulin, forcing your pancreas to produce more insulin to keep blood sugar levels in check. Over time, this overworking of the pancreas can lead to its dysfunction, resulting in consistently high blood sugar levels. Long-term effects of insulin resistance include type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and an increased risk of certain cancers. Managing insulin resistance involves healthy lifestyle choices, such as a balanced diet and regular exercise, to maintain optimal blood sugar and insulin levels. Then we have chronic inflammation. Consuming a lot of sugar can lead to an inflammatory response in the body. When you ingest sugar, it triggers the release of insulin, which in turn can cause the production of inflammatory cytokines. These cytokines are signaling molecules that can increase inflammation throughout the body. Studies have shown that high sugar intake is associated with increased levels of C-reactive protein, a marker of inflammation. For instance, a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals who consumed more than 20% of their calories from added sugars had significantly higher levels of inflammation. This is concerning because while inflammation is a normal immune response to injury or infection, chronic inflammation can persist and become harmful. Over time, it can damage your DNA, disrupt cellular processes, and ultimately lead to serious health issues such as cancer. Chronic inflammation is like a slow-burning fire within the body, continuously harming tissues and organs, and creating an environment where diseases can thrive. Therefore, it is crucial to manage sugar intake to reduce the risk of long-term inflammatory conditions and maintain overall health. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more healthy videos. Oxidative stress is another villain in our story. This occurs when there are too many free radicals in the body unstable molecules that can damage cells. Free radicals are formed through various processes, such as metabolism and exposure to toxins like tobacco smoke, radiation and pollution. Examples of free radicals include superoxide anion, hydroxyl radical, and hydrogen peroxide. These free radicals can attack cell membranes, proteins, and DNA, leading to cellular damage. Sugar can increase the production of these free radicals, and over time, this can contribute to the development of cancer. Antioxidants found in foods like fruits and vegetables can neutralize free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. Vitamins C and E, selenium, and flavonoids are some examples of antioxidants. A diet rich in antioxidants can help manage oxidative stress, potentially lowering the risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. Incorporating a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables into your meals is a great way to boost your antioxidant intake. Lastly, let's delve deeper into the impact on gut microbiota. 
Your gut hosts a complex community of bacteria, including beneficial ones like Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium that help digest food and regulate your immune system. High sugar intake can disrupt this community, reducing these beneficial bacteria and promoting harmful ones like Clostridium and E. coli. This imbalance can lead to inflammation, which may increase cancer risk. Additionally, sugar can feed harmful bacteria like Fusobacterium, which has been linked to colorectal cancer. To maintain a healthy gut balance, incorporating a diet rich in fiber, fruits and vegetables is essential. Foods like yogurt and kefir, which contain probiotics, can help replenish beneficial bacteria. On the other hand, reducing sugar and processed foods can prevent the overgrowth of harmful bacteria. By making these dietary changes, you can support a diverse and balanced gut microbiota, which is crucial for overall health and reducing cancer risks. Now, the million dollar question, how can we reduce these risks? Start by cutting back on sugary snacks and drinks. Plan your meals ahead to include whole foods like fruits, vegetables and grains. Swap out sugary cereals for oatmeal and choose water or herbal tea over soda. Keep healthy snacks like nuts, yogurt and fresh fruit, handy to curb sugar cravings. Try meal prepping with recipes like grilled chicken with quinoa and veggies or a hearty lentil soup. Incorporate more fiber-rich foods to keep you full longer. For breakfast, blend a smoothie with spinach, berries and a touch of honey instead of reaching for pastries. When grocery shopping, read labels carefully and opt for products with no added sugars. Look for terms like sucrose, high fructose corn syrup and evaporated cane juice. Snack on raw veggies with hummus or a handful of almonds to keep your energy levels stable. Plan your meals to include lean proteins, whole grains and plenty of vegetables. This helps maintain balanced blood sugar levels and reduces the temptation to reach for sugary treats. Remember, reading food labels can help you make informed choices and avoid hidden sugars. Natural sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, agave nectar and coconut sugar offer some benefits over refined sugar. Honey contains antioxidants and has antibacterial properties, while maple syrup provides essential minerals like manganese and zinc. Agave nectar has a low glycemic index, making it a better option for blood sugar control. Coconut sugar retains some nutrients from the coconut palm. However, all these sweeteners still contain high levels of sugar and should be used sparingly. Always read food labels to understand the sugar content and make informed choices. To reduce your cancer risk linked to sugar, focus on moderation and informed dietary choices. Opt for natural sweeteners, limit sugary treats, and prioritize whole foods. Remember, excessive sugar intake can fuel cancer growth. Key points to consider include understanding the hidden sugars in processed foods, choosing fruits over sugary snacks, and staying hydrated with water instead of sugary drinks. Always read food labels to be aware of sugar content. Incorporate more whole foods into your meals, such as vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. By making these small changes, you can enjoy a healthier lifestyle and reduce your cancer risk. Stay sweet, but not too sweet. Like and subscribe if you like the video.